Hello, Graffiti Fellowship. God bless you. Uh, it's time for Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. The <clears throat> first part of this chapter, and uh, just by way of reminder, I'm reading from the NLT translation, which stands for the New Living Translation. Many translations out there, uh, and I think that they all have value. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a translation snob. I'm not one of these folks who believes that uh, one translation is superior to another. Uh, but I do believe there are advantages um, unique to to most translations. And what I like about the New Living Translation is that uh, it's just the it's it's a simple, uh, clear, easy to follow reading level. And I think that's important. Um, I think that the whole idea of the scriptures, right? The reason God's given us His Word is so that we can read it and understand it. And I like this translation. Because like some other translations, it it's just it's just easy for folks to understand and doesn't require uh, a, a very advanced reading level. So, in the NLT translation, um, beginning with verse one in chapter ten that we're about to read, uh, the subtitle is "Jesus sends out the twelve apostles." And that is the only subtitle for this entire chapter. This chapter is not segregated into other subsections. Um, Matthew chapter 9 had many, had one, two, three, four, five, six different subsections. Chapter 10 is about the same length as chapter 9, um, but you know it's, it's really just about one thing, and that is Jesus sending out the twelve apostles. Let's read it. Verse 10, excuse me, chapter 10, uh, verse 1. Jesus called his twelve disciples together and gave them authority to cast out evil spirits and heal every kind of disease and illness. Here are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also called Peter. Then Andrew, Peter's brother. James, son of Zebedee. John, James's brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Th uh, Thomas, Matthew, the tax collector, James, this is a, another James, uh, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the zealot, Judas Iscariot, who later betrayed him. Jesus sent out the twelve apostles with these instructions. Don't go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans, but, uh, the Samaritans, uh, but go only to the people of Israel, God's lost sheep. Go and announce to them that the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cure those with leprosy, and cast out demons. Give as freely as you have received. Don't take any money in your money belts, no gold, silver, or even copper coins. Don't carry a traveler's bag with a change of clothes and sandals or even a walking stick. Don't hesitate to accept hospitality because those who work deserve to be fed. Verse 11, whenever you enter a city or a village, search for a worthy person and stay in his home until you leave town. When you enter the home, give it your blessing. If it turns out to be a worthy home, let your blessing stand. If it is not, take back the blessing. If any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. I tell you the truth, the wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah will be better off than such a town on Judgment Day. Look. I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves, so be shrewd as snakes and harmless as doves. But beware, for you'll be handed over to the courts and will be flogged with whips in the synagogues. You'll stand trial before governors and kings because you are my followers, but this will be your opportunity to tell the rulers and other unbelievers about me. When you are arrested, don't worry about how to respond or what to say. God will give you the right words at the right time. For it is not you who will be speaking, it will be the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. 
A brother will betray his brother to death. A father will betray his own child, and children will rebel against their parents and cause them to be killed. And all nations will hate you because you are my followers, but everyone who endures to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one town, flee to the next. I tell you the truth, the Son of Man will return before you have reached all the towns of Israel. Verse 24. Students are not greater than their teacher, and slaves are not greater than their master. Students are to be like their teacher, and slaves are to be like their master. And since I, the master of the household, have been called the prince of demons, the members of my household will be called even worse names. But don't be afraid of those who threaten you, for a time is coming when everything that is covered will be revealed, and all that is secret will be made known to all. What I tell you now in the darkness, shout abroad when the, dark, uh, when the daybreak comes. What I whisper in your ear, shout from the housetops for all to hear. Don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body. They cannot touch your soul. Fear only God, who can destroy both soul and body in hell. What is the price of two sparrows? One copper coin, but not a single sparrow can fall to the ground without your father knowing it. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You're more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But everyone who denies me here on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. Don't imagine that I came to bring peace to the earth. I came not to bring peace, but a sword. I've come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Your enemies will be right in your own household. If you love your father and mother more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. Or if you love your son or daughter more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me... You will find it. Verse 40. Anyone who receives you receives me, and anyone who receives me receives the Father who sent me. If you receive a prophet as one who speaks for God, you will be given the same reward as a prophet. And if you receive righteous people because of their righteousness, you will be given a reward like theirs. And if you give even a cup of cold water to one of the least of my followers, you will surely be rewarded. That's the end of Matthew chapter 10. Uh, that also concludes our second week through the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, we'll see you next week as we cover Matthew chapter 11. God bless.